Hi folks, Lee Geddes here with the Market Sense for the week of August 28th, 2018. The charts in this presentation are the same charts I stare at all day long at work. They come from the Trade Navigator software. And this is a weekly bond market chart. Bonds last week were testing the highs of the big congestion area and looking like they might actually break through to the upside. And they opened up this week and did not go even a single tick higher before turning back down. Uh, we thought maybe support should be 145.07.08 area. No, they didn't stop there at all. The next level here is around 144.19. They've been a ways through that. They could still recover it, but... Uh, you know, gosh, it really looks like this 143.19.20 area down here at the lower moving average is a distinct possibility. Now, none of this is horrible because all this means is they've tested the highs of the sideways and they haven't been able to break through. So probability-wise, when they turn down, that means they're going to test the lows. Doesn't mean they'll get there, though. They could just stop midway someplace. And there is still a chance they could turn back around this week, but this is a... Well, disappointing development here. Uh, the key point for me is is if they will get to the 143.2019 area down in here someplace, especially if they do it by Wednesday, I'd be real interested in trying to buy them there because they ought to at least bounce from there even if they're going lower. But uh, yeah, there's a possibility they'll just turn around from here. And this is a little too sloppy around the middle moving average for me, so I probably can't buy anything there. I could see them dipping below and recovering, though. But all in all, this is kind of disappointing. Uh, I think the the new highs in stocks, which we'll get to in a minute, are encouraging people to think that the Fed may have room to continue to raise interest rates. Uh, so, yeah, that's not real good for the bond market. But, you know, bonds haven't done anything but go sideways while they've been raising rates so far in the last, what, eight months? So, not so bad. But uh, unfortunately, no follow through this week, it looks like. Uh, moving into the stock market, which we mentioned, there are new all-time highs, and there's really not a whole lot else to be said about that. Uh, we said last week it was probably, probably unusual for them to go this high without going all the way to test the highs. I mean, they come all this way. Is that not to get there? No, they were going to get there probably. Well, they've gone through it, and uh, they look pretty doggone strong. The support should have been the 2866 area, which they haven't been anywhere near. They just opened higher and took off. And there's not much else to say about this other than this. If there's one thing I've learned in 30-some years of trading this stuff, selling new all-time highs is a really, really bad idea. They're going to make a high at some point, but you don't have to be the hero that sells that high. They will almost, almost always go back and retest or give you a double top. It's not often you get a spike high in stocks. So uh, new all-time highs, gosh, if you're not long, just watch them. Uh, if you get a chance to buy support, that's one thing, but it's a little late for that this week because they've been so high already. So that's all I can tell you. Don't sell them. Selling them up here is hazardous to your financial health. Yes, it's going to work sometime, but it's only going to work once, and the rest of the time you'll be so sorry. So that's what we've got for you today. I hope you can find something profitable.